Uh, obviously, last year it was a great team, very senior laden, uh, and all those kids are are gone now. Uh, but we do have our starting post player back, Elizabeth Kelleher, and I think she's going to have another phenomenal year. Uh, but also, there's a lot of kids that we're kind of buying their time. And I know this is their opportunity. They're really excited. Uh, it's just a new season. And I'm really excited for them. And it's just a time that they can step into bigger roles. Yeah, actually talking about Bailey and Cassidy, who got minutes, uh, Abby Botts a little bit. Uh, I think all of those players are going to step up in a big way, not only scoring, which obviously they will have to. We, we have to make up for a lot of points from last year, uh, but even taking on a leadership role. Uh, just the past few weeks here of preseason, all of those kids, I think, have had to step out of their comfort zone and do things they're not used to with a new new offense, different things that we're doing, uh, but also just holding their teammates accountable and making sure that we want to continue the success of Michigan Tech women's basketball. I'm really excited about all of our freshmen. Uh, I think they're adjusting really well. They are working really, really hard. And again, that comes down to watching their upperclassmen, seeing how hard they work and learning from them. Uh, but they're, they're taking this year very seriously. They know that they have a great possibility to earn minutes. We have a smaller roster this year. So uh, I'm, I'm excited about each of them. I think the exhibition games for us are going to be huge. Uh, as I said earlier, we don't have a lot of experience coming back. So those games are going to be invaluable to our younger players who maybe haven't gotten quite as many minutes. So I think just being able to play uh, in front of our home fans on October 27th, just getting that experience. Some people are going to be starting that have never started before. Uh, and just that in-game experience. And then also going to play a way more athletic, bigger team uh, will be really, really helpful for us moving forward into our non-conference play and then picking up conference. Yes, the GLIAC is always, I think, one of the toughest leagues uh, to play in, which is great because it prepares us for the postseason. But uh, on top of that is going to be here in the north, I think, Grand Valley. They got a lot of players back, have a, an awesome program there. Uh, and I know we've struggled with uh, Ashland the past few years. They also kind of have a new team, new coach, uh, but just have a great tradition there. So they'll always be uh, on top of, on top of the, the South. And I think we struggled with the more athletic teams in the past. Uh, Wayne State pressuring us, Ferris. So those are, are going to be challenges again this year as well. But uh, I'm, I'm just excited for our players to kind of show what they're capable of. Well, we've actually done quite a few team building exercises. Uh, I've had each of my assistants come up with some different things that they're doing. Sometimes it's on the court. Uh, a lot of times it's off the court where they have to get together with maybe an upperclassman and an underclassman. Maybe we had a we had them break up into groups of four this past week and they had to do a lip sync music video together. <laughs> so just random things like that. Um, and then on the court, just putting them in tough situations and then allowing leaders to step up and say what needs to be said for us to move forward in practice. There are a lot of keys to having a good year, but I think the biggest thing for us is going to be some of our players taking on bigger leadership roles. Uh, and just ensuring great team chemistry and keeping that positive mindset despite, because we're going to have bumps early in the season, being younger, being inexperienced, uh, and just making sure we have that growth mindset where we're always looking forward to the next game uh, and just kind of keeping those younger, inexperienced players steady throughout the year.